Hey, good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for May 2nd, 2019. So yesterday we had things were going pretty along pretty well, and then during the press conference with the chairman. He said something that the market, I guess, didn't like. And suddenly we had some selling and that selling carried through into the close yesterday. Selling into the close yesterday. And when you get a bearish engulfing candle like this, you commonly expect the market is going to move lower uh, the next morning. What's interesting this morning is we have futures that have been trying to push higher in the pre-market right now they're slipping and kind of falling back toward uh, that expectation maybe of a lower open this morning but that's really the nature of um, data-driven markets like this we have a tremendously uh, data-driven market right now with uh, today over 400 companies reporting earnings we have multiple um, economic reports on the calendar that uh, could move us around today and so the futures are really trying to grapple with all of that information. Um, is it possible that we turn and move higher? Yes, it is. There's such a thing that's called a, sh a short squeeze. Um, if if um, you want to get a market sometimes to move higher, um, you get enough people coming in short on the market that um, if you can fire it off, meaning you get a good push higher, what that does is forces all of these short traders to buy to cover, um, actually forcing the market even higher still. So um, could that be um, a possibility here? Could they have engineered a short squeeze? Uh, possible possible right anything is possible during a season like this so um, watch for that potential we also have the possibility of that what we what I call a pop and drop and that's where we get possibly a, a small gap up or a gap up in the morning and then right after that gap up sellers come in pushing it back down and that we get that pop early morning pop and drop so that's also a possibility here you know as we as we chew through all of this data the the fact of the matter is anything is possible and this makes it really really challenging for traders to have or hold on to any kind of an edge at all in the market particularly that swing trader the swing trader has that short-term look at the market they wanting that that um, two to ten day type trade but we with so much data we can get reversals uh, very very quick overnight um, intraday with uh, that data um, pushing the market around so the swing trader has very little edge in this kind of market um, it's much more suited to those quick day traders right now so be, just be careful um, I've been warning for a while not to over trade and I'm going to stick with that warning um, to not over trade these markets so let's take a look at um, what the indexes are actually telling us without a bias to a direction let's take a look at what the price action is telling us well first off we have a price support right through here so you can see prices have been supported off this level and as long as we can hold above that level I think we're in pretty good shape um, we haven't really broken down however if we do a slip below this level we could possibly see that quick trip down into here now that doesn't mean that anything is bad here all it means is that we have a market that um, could get a little uncomfortable um, if that were to occur now I still have the have the belief that we get this close to um, a record breakout high we're gonna find some way uh, to to push through to that upside that's what gives me that whole thought of the possibility of a short squeeze whatever to try and find a way to lift the Dow out to new record highs now we've already done that in the SPY and the, and the NASDAQ but we haven't been able to do that yet in the Dow 
so let's watch that closely uh, for those possibilities. So I th here's the the bottom line is watch this area as resistance, watch this area as support. If that fails, keep a close eye on this area right here as a support level um, we don't want to see us dropping down in here because that will really complicate the technical picture of the chart let's, let's take a look at the spy real quickly spy this is a little bit of a problem for the spy we broke out of this uh, resistance high and now yesterday's candle let's zoom that up here yesterday's candle almost looks like a rejection of that high and very well could end up being a rejection of that high but we are in a pretty good circumstance here and as you can see I've got this level drawn in right here and that level is a little bit of price support we also have price support of the trend so we we'll want to kind of keep an eye on that if we start to drift down below these levels we could run into some serious problems here in the market but if we can hold above this level I think we're in, I think we're in good shape and this pullback or this bearish engulfing candle can um, can disappear pretty quickly in a uh, March higher. So watch that close. But there is some concern here. So we want to watch uh, those price levels pretty closely. Let's take a look at the queues. Queues also had that bearish day yesterday. Um, kind of an ugly candle left behind. Bearish engulfing, kind of rejecting. Um, these high prints but let's take a look the nasdaq is in is in the best situation of all and that is the fact that it has broken out and well above um, levels of support so if we do happen to get that pullback if we can hold anywhere above this area i think we're in great shape if we happen to slip below this area, be careful because we could see some quick selling. There is a little bit of support right in here, but we'll have to watch that closely because this does have the potential then of slipping um, well south if that does occur. So hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we'll hold right in this area, hang in tight, and um, see those bulls uh, come up strong. Let's take a look at IWM. That uh, Russell has just been having, IWM is, is the ETF for the Russell 2000. Um, and IWM has been struggling, um, trying to push itself up, trying to be something here, but just having lots and lots of trouble with this price resistance area right here. And just can't seem to quite get through there. Yesterday's candle certainly doesn't add to that confidence as we failed up here again. But the good news is, is we're holding on to this trend. So right now we have this little trend in play and this is our resistance high so we're looking at a price wedge and we all know that those price wedges can continue to wind around in that wedge for a while we could just wind around in here um, and what, what we have to wait for is we want to wait and see if we get that break to the downside or if we get that reversal and break to the upside and that could give us some good clues here for future direction of IWM right now we're just tightening up this wedge really really tight really hard to know um, what happens from here we just have to watch and wait for that price action to occur let's take a look at the VIX real quick the VIX had some fear come into the market yesterday creeped up pretty heavily actually um, bouncing off of this level of price support now this price support down in here is a significant price support it's been there for a long time and you can see we've had lots of price support down in there so the VIX picking up off of here not a huge surprise but um, we don't want to see this get out of hand if we were to come above this price resistance level right in here spike up into here and then 
and find that the VIX holds that as support, we could see some serious trouble uh, beginning with the market. So, so far, that's not the case. And I'm not suggesting that that uh, could occur, just that the possibility uh, does exist and we'll want to be watchful for it. If those sellers do pick up, if those bears decide it's time to start pressing, we'll start seeing that VIX creep to the upside. However, if those bulls reassert themselves and they come back in, we could easily rally up into this area, find that resistance and tail right back off towards support. So no big worries here yet. Just that, again, that reason for caution, a reason to be just a little bit careful with what you're doing in the market. Let's take a look at T2122. Guys, I love this indicator, T2122. It is one of those indicators that uh, just plain works. And it, I don't care how far back you go, you start looking at T2122 and we reach these upper, upper levels up in here, what I call the bearish reversal zone, we start seeing some selling. When we come down here in this bullish reversal zone, we start seeing some buying. And yesterday's selling was pretty darn uh, telling in, in the fact that we pushed significantly lower off of uh, these highs up here. And pushing significantly lower, if that were to follow through, we could very quickly be down here in this bullish reversal zone if we get some follow through to uh, this move today. If, however, we uh, the bulls kind of pick back up and take over, we could move right back up here in kind of the mid zone and kind of just a confusion place. And, and when we're in these mid zones, T2122 really doesn't tell us much. What this actually does is I like to I like to show it this way. We draw a line across here. What it tells us is we have the possibility to move lower and we've opened the door for a nice move up. So we have plenty of opportunity to move around here and T2122 right now is leaning toward that downside move still. But you know, all of these earnings and futures were uh, futures action right now is suggesting something else. So we'll want to keep an eye on that price action. Just know that we have opportunity both ways here, according to T2122. Let's take a look at that economic calendar for today. Economic calendar, pretty darn interesting here. Um, it's just been a heavy, heavy week of data, and that's going to continue today with uh, jobless claims coming out here um, at 8.30 a.m. We have productivity and cost, factory orders, and natural gas report, which I don't expect to move the market, and also Fed balance sheet. I doubt that that has any effect on the market. But these three right here definitely can move the market around a little bit with that jobless claims being probably the most um, influential uh, for a market move. Keep in mind that tomorrow, as you're planning your, you know, the rest of your day and thinking about tomorrow, um, keep in mind that employment situation number tomorrow morning. That's a big number that can really move the market around. And we also have that international trading goods that can be a market moving event. So we get through the close of today with all of these earnings reports and all of this back and forth. And we just have to look forward to some more big reports prior to the market open that we're going to have to deal with, which really puts us into that realm of anything is possible. Big gap ups, big gap downs. We have to watch for that carefully. Last but not least on the earnings calendar, I've mentioned it before, over 400 companies reporting earnings today. We have those earnings have been coming in pretty fast, pretty furiously this morning, and they'll continue to roll out through the rest of the day and after the close um, today. We get a little bit of a break on Friday from earnings. Uh, Berkshire Hathaway reports on Saturday. But then next week, we have another massive wave of earnings reports. So just be prepared that this isn't over uh, for a while. Uh, we've got, uh, with all these companies reporting, all this data is going to conti continue to drive the market, create some really um, odd price action. Um, it's one of those things that... Um, uh, Traders often hear me say this. I hate earnings because it really, it really messes up um, some really good uh, trading setups. 
because it becomes more like a casino. We we have to gamble around earnings, and I choose not to not to be that gambler. I'm a trader. This is a business, and I want to trade like a business, not gamble. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day, and I want to wish you great profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube. Follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and leave a comment comment i truly truly appreciate it you guys have just been awesome thank you so much for all your kind support all those kind comments you know every single comment matters um, no matter how brief um, the algorithms um, find out you know if people are commenting liking these videos clicking those thumbs up buttons they show the video to more people and um, that's been helping an awful lot and you guys are awesome thank you for that so much uh, with all that you are doing let's take a look at some charts that could be setting up now i'm going to go quickly through a few charts because i'm running out of time but just keep in mind that these charts are are not meant for buy sell decisions these charts are charts that could be setting up things that you should evaluate maybe things that just go on the watch list for a while to wait for that potential trade setup in the trade let's take a look um right here um I think there's some interesting price action going on in Boeing. Boeing has been holding up pretty well. If you take a look, this is a very significant level of price support in Boeing. Really, really big level in here holding that price action up. And even with all of their uh, troubles that they've been talking about, Boeing held this level. We kind of tested here, we tested here, we tested here. Essentially triple bottom, uh, three times holding that same level then we rally and place a higher low where buyers kind of start stepping back up in here so that creates a price wedge with this price wedge is pretty important and you notice how tightly that wedge is becoming if we get a pop out of here that would suggest that we may begin a little bit of an upside move here in Boeing that could certainly help the overall market and if we look at the price action this morning you can see we're not getting any clues of that pop up here yet um, this morning so no clues uh, in the pre-market now keep in mind this pattern also can produce that move back down so we'll want to watch that pretty closely here in the chart but right now holding that little bit of an uptrend and um, with everyone pushing so hard to move the market or the Dow higher there might be uh, some reason to kind of keep an eye on Boeing let's take a look at ConAgra ConAgra doggone it it tried to make that move yesterday came up here popped hit right in here um, yeah, on the that uh, trading alert that I have on the chart every every one of these pink lines is a trade alert but you can see yesterday's selling really uh, created a problem here for the chart and this um, looks a lot like a continuation pattern to the downside now so watch that one closely if we get a reversal today that could repair but um, that's one to kind of keep a close eye on you're gonna see that as a theme right now in these charts where we had really good chart setups everything was looking pretty good for uh, potential upside moves and then we get this ugly bearish engulfing uh, candle where um, they swept everything back out now again this can still repair itself and come right back up through here so let's watch these closely they haven't broken their de um, uptrends yet and that's the important thing we want to keep an eye on that Nike Nike was one of those that was pushing right up here looking really really good getting that ugly swing south I think there's a problem here with Nike now it's just moved too much to the downside you might want to take a look at Baba right way options had an opportunity we got in some Baba yesterday and um, at least some of the traders got into Baba yesterday made some nice money on that move and then that end of the day sell-off really pushing that down now Baba's going to have a major um, be majorly affected by any news about a trade deal potential trade deal and you can see Baba this morning trying to lift just a little bit 
uh, this morning and hold up because there has been news that we might be able to expect a trade deal as early as next Friday. So kind of keep an eye on Baba and those China trade or China stocks because they have an opportunity to really move um, in that situation. You might want to keep an eye on Valero Energy. Valero chopping around through this resistance area. It looked yesterday day like it was going to go out of this little wedge pattern. And then that selling yesterday um, really kind of hammered it back um, into this range. So watch this as this continues to build out this wedge, moves closer to its trend for that opportunity of this stock to pop and move on through. So lots of charts to be thinking about and be considering. Lots a confusion though in the price action right now and it's really a good reason to be really careful and cautious and be careful guys not to over trade it's so easy when we have all this data we get caught up in the in in the drama of all of the news and the events and the things going on we get caught up and we over trade and give back um, all of those hard-earned profits um, in these charts because uh, we were rushing uh, that fear of missing out creates uh, some tremendous uh, pain sometimes if we um, over trade a, a confused market like we have right now so everyone hey have a great day i wish you awesome results and um, thank you for those if this uh, for clicking that uh, subscribe button and clicking the thumbs up buttons and leaving the comments you guys are awesome if you're brand new to trading be really really careful right now if you're struggling as a trader don't give up but be super careful when a market is going through and, and chewing through so much data it, it can be very very difficult remember you don't have to trade every day to be successful as a trader overall sometimes the view from the sidelines is a place to be so watch that close. Everyone take care of yourselves. Have an awesome, awesome day. And we'll talk to you bright and early Friday morning. Have a good one.